when when Donald Trump says uh, uh, we have to put uh, we have to curtail Muslim immigration until we sort out where the terrorists are, what do Iranians Iranians know about uh, the Islamic Revolution? Well, myself, I'm Jewish. I got kicked out of Iran. And How does Muslim culture regard homosexuality? Oh, it doesn't exist. That's what they think. They, they think it's, you know, there's no such thing. What happens to Muslims who get caught being gay? Killed. <laughs> so, I am the uh, Vice President of Log Cabin Orange County. Um, I've been involved with Log Cabin for about two years now. What do uh, uh, Islamists and people in uh, uh, countries where Islamism, political Islam is strong, like Pakistan, Iran, Saudi Arabia, what do they do when they find out someone is homosexual? Well, when they found out that someone is homosexual, from my understanding, they uh, torture them and they throw them over the roofs of homes and to their death. It's execution. What do they do? It's, it's absolutely disgusting. It, it depends on the country, but in, in Iran, most of the time they will kill you. Uh, they will try to make you uh, confess to your crimes. Uh, it, it's a really weird thing of in, in the... It's, it's not the entire Islamic community, and I, I don't want to say that, you know, it, it is that entire Islamic faith that does it, but you'll see parts of it that will acknowledge it as as a rape, of, as a form of dominance. It's not about sexual gratification to them. And they will see as male-on-male -male rape being okay, and the victim being the person that is basically the victim, and they will get, you know, either tortured for it or basically shunned for it. You see this in Afghanistan with a practice called Bachabazi, which was outlawed, but still is in practice. It's only a little fine. So they will throw them over the roofs of the homes. Yeah. Throw them off the roof? ISIS will throw them all over yes. the roof of the homes, of high two, three, four, five store buildings. Gay men, gay women? From what I've seen, it's been gay men. If that's the case, shouldn't the LGBT community be more pro-Republican? who are willing to take on the jihad rather than the Democrats who have been taking money from them? Yes, that's true. But the thing is, right here, most people only want to affiliate with U.S. politics. They don't really care about what's going on in foreign policy. And that's a mistake because foreign policy is very important and it's very prudent to us, especially what's going on with oil prices, gasoline prices. But people just think about short term and what's right in front of them. And it's unfortunate because, you know, in order to be more well-educated about politics, you can't just be here and now. You need to learn about, you know, not just, you know, grassroots politics, but also foreign policy, which does influence uh, LGBT policy. I'm what will Trump do? Well, what uh, Donald Trump does, he advocates for, you know, having a sort of system for um, undocumented immigrants who want to come to the U.S. have more of a thorough background check. For instance, when it came to the San Bernardino husband and his former fiance now, former wife, it was a fiance visa and he wants to have a sort of background and uh, check policy that will check the background of these individuals more thoroughly not just let them in just no you have to check you know for instance if facebook found that this individual this wife had uh, ties to isis so what trump wants he wants to have more of a background check to make sure that these individuals are not terrorists right, right. Uh, what does trump want to do with specifically with muslim uh, immigrants well, Muslim immigrants, you still want to get vetted. It's, it doesn't matter if you're Muslim, if you're a Christian or Jewish. You still want to get vetted. I, I, as an immigrant myself, I went through a long process. I had my background investigated. I had my whole, my, my whole history, especially coming from a communist country. Priorly, I, I was, I was asked about my affiliations. I was asked about my family. I was asked about, you know, pretty much everything you can imagine. I was asked if I want to have, if I want to commit crimes, if I want to overthrow the government. I mean, these are all standardized questions. But for me, it was very in depth. It. it I, I personally don't see a, a problem with that. If you, if it, especially if you're coming from a, a war-torn country like Syria or Afghanistan or Iraq, where documentation and passports are very easy to fake because these areas fall under control that are under Islamic fascists, you really want to get that checked out. And it's not about just you know the whole world. It's about our security here. And that's the problem. People are, you know, we have to be PC, we have to be caring and accepting. You know what, if you go to those countries, those people aren't caring and accepting. They don't care about the Americans. They want to kill Americans. They want to kill infidels who don't believe what they want to believe, what, you know, they believe in the Quran. And that's the scary part. These people, they don't care about us. They don't care about our well-being. You know, they, if they see us suffering deaths, 
you know, terrorist attacks. That's not what they want to see, and that's the mistake with our, you know, our LGBT community. They, we have to be, we have to be realistic. We can't be all idealistic. Is there men here? How much, how much awareness is there within the uh, LGBT community about these particular issues? Uh, what uh, the Democrats vis-a-vis -vis jihad and the Republicans vis-a-vis -vis jihad mean to them domestically? If you ask um, a member of the LGBT community, they will not be able to be able to articulate their true concerns. They'll be like, oh, we should be accepting of everyone. You know what, at the end of the day, you know, we, we need to be respectful, but we need to take care of ourselves first. We're America, we need to take care of America first. We can't be naive. You know, they're terrorists for a reason. They want to kill infidels. They don't care about us. So it's just silly to, you know, be so naive. It's just... But against infidels, but particularly, do they have a, a, a specific, or an, a special uh, animosity towards uh, gay and lesbian? Yes, they, I mean, they have an animosity and towards like certain minority groups, especially the LGBT group. You know, being a sexual minority is the biggest sin. So if you're a sexual minority, they will take your life and they will do it in the most graphic way possible. And they don't care. Would they do it even in North America? Here? I mean, there are ISIS camps all over the US. So it wouldn't be surprising to see something like that happen. I hope it doesn't happen, but you know, I can't, I don't want to speak for someone. I mean, the way they treat LG, members of the LGBT community is so inhumane. I wouldn't be surprised if it happened. Do you think uh, fundamentalist Muslims would uh, commit crimes against homosexual people in America? Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, I, to touch back on, on what was touched on earlier with them throwing off, from how I understand it, the, the Daesh or ISIL or ISIL or IS or however they want to call themselves now, they, they, they typically throw you off a third floor building. And if you survive, what happens is after they stone you until you're dead. They have no, they have no sympathy for you. They have no mercy for you. They don't care. These are guys that are putting out propaganda videos of them beheading people, of putting a detonation cord around someone's neck, or putting you in a vehicle and, th and uh, throwing an RPG at your vehicle. These guys have no sympathy for you, and people will never acknowledge that. The thing is, this, this stuff will not be shown on the news. It'll be. A Wouldn't you think that that gays of all people ought to be supporting the restriction of Muslim immigration into the into the West? Absolutely. Don't you have the most at stake to have, I mean, if you talk about haters. Yes. Absolutely. Cheers to that. Right. Absolutely, yeah. Fuck it. Trump, baby! Trump! Trump!